Hi there, welcome to today's video and to my channel. Today we are going to be studying a third paper for direct speech to speech translation using discrete units. If you recall, in the past couple videos, we have been studying two important papers. The first one was direct speech to speech translation with discrete units. This was the first paper that used a new technique for translating from one language to another language. And the technique that they used was to take these spectrograms of speech in one language and predict something called discrete units in the target language. I will paste a link to the video where we had a deep dive discussion into what the method was. And then the second paper by the similar set of authors was textless speech to speech translation on real data. The importance of this paper was that here the translation model was the same that was presented in their first paper. However, here the uh, model was applied on a real data. So when we apply on a real data, there are more challenges than applying a model on just synthetic data. So in this paper, they came up with a speech normalization technique, and that was the bulk of this paper. Now we are on to a third paper by uh, the authors. This is also from Facebook and it was presented, uh, it was published in 2022. So here the paper is titled as Enhanced Direct Speech to Speech Translation Using Self-Supervised Free Training and Data Augmentation. This paper, I believe, shouldn't be a, a shocker because here what they are presenting in this paper is that we can further improve the performance of the speech to speech translation model by pre training and data augmentation. And I think we all know that pre training and data augmentation, or having more data in general, these things help deep learning models to perform better. So, in this paper, they are presenting the techniques for pre training and the data augmentation to improve the performance of the speech to speech translation model. I want to show you one thing. So if you go back to the original paper for the speech to speech translation and look at the model that was shown in that paper or presented in that paper. So this is a speech to speech translation model. So here we can see that the model is a transformer based. It has a transformer encoder and a transformer decoder. Now, going back to the new paper that's published, here the authors use different encoder and a decoder. So rather than using the transformer encoder and the transformer decoder, here what they are using is they're using a wave 2 vec 2.0 encoder. So they pre-train this with unlabeled speech of the source language. And they're using a MBART decoder. So they're, they're pre-training this MBART decoder with discrete units of the target language. So they're performing these two pre-training tasks, pre-training an encoder and pre-training the decoder. And then these two are further fine-tuned and they have shown that uh, pre-training gives them much better performance than, than no pre-training at all. And this pre-training is done on unlabeled speech. So that's that's the advantage that we can have of pre-training because there's a bunch of unlabeled speech and it doesn't cost much to train with the unlabeled speech. And then we can fine-tune with the labeled speech. So that's one part. One thing I am not sure, and I don't know if I missed it while reading the paper or not sure if, there, if it's not in the paper, is that I'm not sure why the wave 2 back 2.0 encoder was used specifically. And I was not sure why they used MBART decoder as opposed to keeping the original transformer encoder and decoder. So they don't, uh, I don't think they discussed that in the paper unless I missed it. 
So if you want to understand more about Wave 2 Web 2.0 and MBART, these are actually two separate papers. Now I'll show you what those papers are and you're free to read them at your pleasure if you haven't read them so. Um, so here is the Wave 2 Web 2.0 framework. This was a paper published by Facebook in 2020. If you have uh, read the paper about Hubert, you will realize that Wave 2 Web 2.0 is is somewhat similar to Hubert. Uh, however, Wave 2 Web 2.0 was published first and Hubert came later, but they are very similar in terms of what they're trying to do. And then the second paper that I want to show is the MBART paper. So this is multilingual denoising pre community neural machine translation. So this is a paper that um, presents MBART. And if you you can probably guess that MBART has a, has something to do with BART, which is a famous paper in NLP. MBART is just a multilingual BART. So this is the paper that uh, if you want to know more about MBART, then this is the paper you should read. If you want to know more about Wave 2 Web 2.0, this is the paper that you must read. Now, with that understanding, we come back to the paper that we are reading today. Uh, this, the encoder is Wave 2 Web 2.0 and the decoder is MBART. So, in this paper, the key is that the pre training helps to improve the performance. And then they also talk about different methods of fine tuning. And then the third thing is that data augmentation. So data augmentation of giving new data to the model leads to better performances for deep learning models in general. So that's what they show here. And there are a bunch of experiments. Again, I will skip the experiments for you to read. So to conclude, Really, what is in this paper is that we can improve the performance of direct speech to speech translation models that were presented in this paper, this paper by pre training and data augmentation. So, not nothing uh, solid, I would say, but um, that we just wanted to share this paper as well because this is the last paper in this series. So, and here, but I do want to say that for these three papers, the authors did publish their code online. So it's available for us to explore. And that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go through the code and try to um, implement it on a different set of languages. And that's how we'll learn more. So that's going to be my next focus uh, in terms of direct speech to speech translation. With that, I will end here. And I want to thank each one of you who have subscribed to my channel because that really helps me a lot. And then if you have not subscribed to my channel, but you visit my channel and you find the content useful, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my channel. With that, thank you and have a good day.